What's up guys, welcome to your 27th PHP tutorial and in this tutorial as promised I'm going to be teaching you guys the beginning of making our very first computer game. Now the computer game I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make, I'm going to be making it along with you. I already started and it's called Tacora.com. so if you guys want to see uh, that's where it's all going to be at. And I already started, I just made the basic layout of it. Um, I'll, as you can see the title, a little history, the login box right here. But before we even uh, start doing this, the first thing we need to make is a, re a place for the users to register. Since before you can log in, you of course need a place to register your name. <coughs> so this is the very first thing you do on any game that you're going to make. So that's what we're going to be going over today, how to make a basic a uh, registration form to let people register on our game. So let's close this out and uh, here is my code right here. Now as you can see if I launch this uh, raw code in Firefox you guys are gonna see my registration file that I'm gonna be building right here. You guys can have the template however you want it. Um, I just made a basic picture and our form is going to be right here but as I said you can have it anywhere you want it you don't even have to have any of this if you don't want so this is all pretty much code uh, you don't need to know all this since this is just to make it look good the thing I'm going to be teaching you today is a login box right here so uh, like I said that's what we're going to be working with today so the first thing you're going to want to do is create a file called register.php and if you want to add all this jazz to uh, make it look good, you can. But if not, then let's just get right down to it. Now, I made a div just so I could uh, easily see where my login box was. But no matter where it is, the first thing you're going to want to do is make a form. So I like to start out just making uh, the form and closing it so I don't forget where it is. And the basic attributes I want to add on this form it's first of all a name I'm gonna set it equal to form one uh, the next thing we want to add is a method that says post and this is very important you need to add a method post for later on whenever we uh, set everything to a variable you're gonna have that method as post and the last thing that you're gonna have in your opening form tag is an action in this whenever you press submit and submit this form it's gonna have to run and check to make sure everything is working and the action says where we want it to check and it's gonna have to check via a PHP, PHP script that we're gonna build and we're gonna build that is somebody called register next dot PHP since this is gonna be our next step once we uh, fill out this form so make sure your form looks exactly like this and then follow along the next thing we want to do is add the form tags username password uh, confirm password email and confirm email and I like to put mine in paragraph tags just cuz I found it works a lot better now let's just type a uh, username since uh, this is just basic text on the screen so the user knows what form it's filling in I'll show you guys what this is later and um, we're gonna make this an input box so and an input box in case you guys didn't watch my XHTML tutorials is just a box where users can input stuff so the first thing we want to input for their username is text this is where they're going to put their username they're going to be able to type in text the next thing is we're going to have to name uh, this box and the name whatever you put in the name is going to be stored in a variable so I'm going to make this variable called username since it's easy to remember. And the next thing, size 15, that's how big the box is going to be. Max length equals 20. That's how long the box, or actually max length is how many characters you can enter. So they can't have a username that's over 20 characters. And the last thing I'm going to add value is empty since... um. Uh, whenever we want it blank to show up so let me actually show you guys save this run launch in Firefox 
once I show you guys what this mean what this is you'll see what everything is the username right here is the username right here the input text is this you can input text right there the name you can't see it's variable the size is 15 see how long this uh, box is that's actually 15 wide the max length is 20 and you see I'm typing but nothing more is typing in you can only enter in 20 uh, characters and the value is empty since if we put something in the value then there would already be text in there you can play around with this but I'm just showing you guys one time what it means so now we have a username that they can input their username the next thing we want to do is have a place for them to input their password so let's go password and um, in that we're gonna have another input box but this one is gonna be a little bit different the type of this is gonna be password and what this means this one was text and you were able to input text whenever you enter your password on a like a on your email or something you don't have those little asterisks pop up so no one can see what you're typing that's what this does type password uh, it makes it kinda confidential um, the name for this variable is gonna be pass um, and of course let's the rest of it we can just copy from up here copy and paste since it can be 15 long max value value now the next thing we want to make is confirm pass now we want to confirm pass to be exactly the same as password but we want a different variable name and a different text right here so let's copy all of this copy and paste now let's put confirm pass type it password again we want the name to be pass uh, let's name that pass 2 and we will have all the other same things and the last thing we want is email since we're gonna have to send them an email so they can confirm their account so let's do that right now um, let's go ahead and type email and of course input you guys are gonna get good at input and stuff I have a feeling um, type text since you don't want to you don't want to you want them to be able to see their password uh, let's see name uh, we will set the email um, size equals uh, let's make the size of this well, let's stay the same 15 max length uh, let's have 65 since emails are a lot longer than um anything else in value is equal to nothing now of course just like before uh, we want to have the confirm email just like the email with uh, slight the only thing we want to change is this right here in the name of your variable so let's just go ahead and copy this copy paste confirm email email to and there you go we just created our first form in PHP and the last thing that you're gonna need to do is add a submit button so their users can submit their data in let's just um let me show you guys how to do that real quick to do that, to do that excuse me you put input type equals submit and this is a special uh, button where you could submit name equals submit and this is going to be the name of our variable oops and lastly value equals register and if you can see if we save this and take a look at it we're on launch in Firefox we now have made a basic form there you go and in the next tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, make a script to run this form and register the user and all this information is going to be on my website thenewboston.com so if you wanna uh, take the text go out there subscribe I'll see you next time